Yo, what's up, everybody? Happy Friday, man. I hope you guys are enjoying your, your Friday afternoon. Um, I'm sitting here and I was just thinking about some things, you know, just being a black man, looking at some of the things that some of my black women are going through. And I know I did a video a little while ago about why I date black women, but I think that just like everything else in life, it's very important to remind someone how much you really think about them, how much you love them, how much you adore them, and how much you really appreciate them, okay? So shout out to everybody that's saying, hey, hey, uh, Tamika, how are you doing? Miss Ashley, thank you for joining. Um, so if you guys get the opportunity, if you're a black woman, please do me a favor right now, all right? I want you to hit that share button, take the opportunity to share this video to all of the black sisters around the world. Um, I'm not gonna make it too long because I just wanna get straight to the point. So I'm gonna go ahead and get straight to the point. So as I was saying is, is that just like everything else in life, it's a good reminder, it's positive reinforcement. I don't feel like you sisters need a man to tell you how beautiful you are, but I think it's good for a man to tell you sisters just how beautiful you are and how much we really truthfully appreciate you. Now I do wanna throw a disclaimer out there because I have races all around the world, Puerto Rican, Asian, white, Dominican, you name it, that follow me, that it's nothing that has nothing to do with you sisters today at all, right? That you sisters are more than welcome to listen. In fact, I hope that you listen and understand the true compassion as a black man that I have for my black women, okay? Now, in the same sense, I want my black women to understand that I may find a white woman, a Dominican, an Asian, or whatever woman, all women all around the world, very beautiful, but that never discredits or that never takes away how much I love my black women. Another thing that I have to say is, is that this is just coming from me, and I don't know how some black men look at this, but I have to think about it. Who was the first woman to make a sacrifice for me? A black woman made a sacrifice for me. A black woman was impregnated by a black man who made me a black child, and before she even knew my name, before she knew what I would look like, before she knew the struggles of life that I would go through, before she even knew if she would be sick or not through her pregnancy, which she was, and even when the doctors told my mom that, hey, you can't get pregnant again, right? This is why she didn't have kids for a very long time, except to my little sister 10 years later, because if you get pregnant again, this could kill you. But you know what? Instead of her aborting me, she loved me before she even knew what I looked like. So therefore, a black woman was the first woman to make a sacrifice. A black woman held me for 10 months, 40 weeks of pregnancy, throwing up, being overweight, feet swelling, headache, and anything else that you can think of that a woman goes through agonizing pain in birth before she even seen me. So after she birthed me, this was the first woman to kiss me on my forehead and cry and tell me she loved me. This is the first woman to titty feed me. This is the first woman to put a bottle in my mouth. This is the first woman to change my diaper. This is the first woman to give me a bath. This is the first woman to cuddle with me in bed, hold me, protect me, secure me. This is the first woman to go to work. And whenever people say that, oh, I date a white woman because they break bread or they do this or they do that. Your mother on that first diaper, that first stroller, that car seat, that first beanie when it was cold outside, that first jacket is the first black woman, or the first woman in this world that made a sacrifice and that gave to you and that did something for you regardless if you want to admit it or not, regardless if you can remember it or not. A black woman, because you're a black man, was the first woman to make a sacrifice for you. So I just want to tell all of you black sisters out there, all of my ebony, luscious, delicious queens out there, how much I appreciate you. And how much I adore you. And I want to tell you, sisters, that regardless of what a man may be attracted to, that doesn't mean that he doesn't love you or that he doesn't value you. And I get it and I understand that some of my brothers out there don't know how to reciprocate the love, don't know how to reciprocate the, the respect, don't know how to reciprocate the appreciation. And there's so many black men out there tear down so many black women. And I understand that that frustrates you and that angers you and that's making you feel and think that maybe black men aren't how they used to be. But don't lose hope in us because it's a lot of good black men out there because I'm a good good, wholesome, strong black man. I love my black women. I adore my black women. I appreciate my black women. I want to uplift my black women. I want to protect and provide for my black sisters. And I want to educate my black sisters. And I want to inspire and be an aspiring image for my black sisters any and every day that I can be. I don't want to tear you down. So this is just a reminder. 
of how valuable you are to this world. This is just a reminder that the melanin in your skin is ever so beautiful. And it doesn't matter how dark you are, love. It doesn't matter how tall you are. It doesn't matter how skinny you are. It doesn't matter how short or how long or how thick your hair is. Baby, at the end of the day, it just matters that you understand what being black truthfully means. The sacrifices and the struggles. And you understand that it's called ebony. It's this glorious ebony that you are embraced with. And here's another thing that I want to tell a lot of people. Okay, because it doesn't matter if you're gay. It doesn't matter if you're transsexual. It doesn't matter about none of that shit, because here's the one thing that you have to understand before you even knew what a gay emotion was before you even knew what a gay feeling or a gay concept was, baby, you was black before anything else. So, baby, you could be a lesbian right now. Right. You could be a, a stud right now. At the end of the day, you was born a black woman before anything else. You got the reproductive system of a woman, a black woman. So before you was gay, right? Before you was a hippie, before you was a nerd, before you was a dork, you was black before anything else. And because you was black before anything else, I just want to tell you, don't ever give up on your color. Don't ever give up on your ethnic background. Don't ever give up on your heritage. Don't ever lose sight of what your tribe understands or what your tribe truthfully means, your roots. And you have to understand the spiritualism of what we stand for and what a black woman stands for. When I see the image, when I see a painting of a black woman, I'm tired of seeing these images of black women being torn down and crying and being abused because that's not what I see in my black women. I see strength in my black women. I see love in my black women. I see sacrifice in my black women. I see beauty in my black women. I see education and intelligence and empowering moments and finesse in my black women. I don't see anything less. So all of these Instagram posts and all of these images of destructive images, degrading and negative images of black women, I just want y'all to do me a favor and take them all off y'all page. I don't care if you leave them off for a few months, leave them off forever for all I matter, but just take them all off your page and repost nothing but positive images of what a black woman stands for. All right. And so now the end of this message is to some of you brothers out there that don't understand, because now that I ain't got the sister's attention and I made it real quick and I got to the point and just want to give y'all a really good reminder of how much I appreciate y'all and how much I love y'all for everything that you've done. Right. I want to tell all of you brothers out there that don't value and appreciate our black women that it's okay because I can't judge you for your preference, but it's okay if you are attracted or if your preference is of another ethnic background, another race, another side of this world. It's okay, brother, for you to love or for you to like and for you to have interracial children. You know what, brother? If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But just because you have a preference of one, that doesn't mean that you have to destroy or try to make the other look bad. Because here's the one thing that my black women has endured, and that's hate. My black women have endured hate for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, but yet they still walk strong. So when are you brothers going to understand that no matter how much you try to hate them, they're not going anywhere? You're not going to make them any less beautiful. You can't defeat what they naturally are blessed with. And that's honor. That's gorgeousness. That's love. That's spirituality. That's strength. Iron sharpens iron. So you brothers out there may like that long hair, ponytail, looking whatever race she is, this mixed, exotic, whatever you want to be. But at the end of the day, that doesn't ever take anything away from the beauty of a black woman, no matter what you say. So again, this is just a reminder to the sisters out there that there's a lot of black men that adore you. And that we thank you and that we appreciate you and to keep your chin up, you keep your head up, keep your eyes straight, right? You need to be able to see what's not there and be able to hear what's not being said. Watch out for all the fuckery and all the foolishness and make sure that a brother doesn't take advantage of you. Make sure that you understand self-worth and self-value. Make sure that you understand self-appreciation and make sure that you don't lose sight and hope of your dreams and your goals. And that you end up with somebody who you can appreciate just as much as you appreciate them. And just as much as they appreciate you. That's real. And to all the brothers out there who do love black women, you know what? Instead of posting pictures of money, instead of posting pictures of guns, instead of posting pictures of videos of fights, why don't you post a picture of a sister, a mother, an auntie, a doctor, somebody who is powerful, strong, and intelligent, a wonderful representation of what black women stand for. That's what I need for y'all to start reposting because we have to remind these sisters because times is hard. Men lie. 
we're very destructive. We can be abusive. We can be manipulative. And we also can have a narcissistic ass type of mentality, attitude, and behaviors. And so we are destroying the image of a black woman. But not if I can help it. I'm going to do everything in my power to let you sisters know not to give up and that y'all didn't survive hundreds of years of being oppressed, mental slavery, emotional slavery, ethnic slavery, to slavery, period. And that y'all still walking strong and that y'all still surviving. And one last thing, one last thing, I'm sorry, then I promise y'all, I'm up out of here. I can't tell you sisters that some of you sisters lost your way. But I can tell that some of you sisters need to change some things or I would like for you to change some things just my opinion you know to be half naked and a nigga this and a bitch this and a whole that and all of this and the smoking the weed online do you think that that's a representation of what you were about do you think that that represents or reflects even a small fraction of your power and your worth see I don't care about what your extracurricular activities are, or your hobbies, but I care about the representation of you as a strong, independent woman, as a woman, period. So when I see you sisters out here drinking and smoking and getting high and wilding the fuck out, that's not healthy. It's not spiritually healthy. It's not physically healthy. It's not mentally healthy because it's a distraction. You got to earn your way to the celebration. And I don't see none of y'all sitting on six and seven figures. Half of y'all don't own black businesses. But I can still see the potential in you. So I'm never going to speak negative. I just hope that one day for some of these sisters that I think may be a little lost, a little misguided, or that maybe society and the consciousness hasn't tapped into them yet, right? That that conditioning is outweighing their consciousness. Because I know that there's a consciousness. Because God blessed you with the melon and the melon is what carries the consciousness. See, being a conscious brother and sister is within all of us. It's in our blood. It's in our skin. You can't get rid of it. Even those who are trying to bleach their skin and get rid of their melanin to look lighter, at the end of the day, in your DNA, it's the consciousness of our ancestors that's been passed down. It's just your choice if you tap into it. And all I'm asking you sisters to do is not to give up and to tap into your consciousness and to understand how powerful you really truthfully are. That's real. Y'all have a blessed Friday, man. Y'all better turn up for being strong. Fuck the weed. Fuck the alcohol. Right? Fuck the depression. Y'all better get out there tonight and celebrate being strong. Celebrate being an ebony goddess tonight. You and all of y'all sisters get out and go watch that movie. Y'all enjoy yourselves. Y'all have a couple of drinks responsibly. Some wine. If you ain't got nobody to take you to dinner, take yourself to dinner. Dress up because you deserve to. But you better be fucking positive and you better celebrate life. Because tomorrow's not promised. And I don't want neither one of y'all to go out in a negative way. You better end life in the utmost positive, strong way possible. That's real. Y'all have a blessed one.